Lightip, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a Lenovo IdeaPad 330. Let's take it apart and replace the connector right here. The client states he needs to wiggle jiggle the cord to make the laptop work, so we're gonna open it up. I was hoping it's going to come out here, but I don't want to break it, so... No, I mean, it still needs to come out somehow. Let's see. See if we can get this guy out of here. Like that, like that. Okay, good job. There is a damage here to the casing on the corner. It's not something that I did, it's just... All right, so the power connector issue happens when you wiggle jiggle the cord or the charging, charging port breaks when you break the connector inside. So here's what I want to do is I want to remove this screw right here. And those two screws here. The one screw right here. All right. And we want to disconnect the battery. Now we need to find a prime tool which is supposed to be here someplace, here. That's the touchpad. You want to disconnect the touchpad. Don't break the cable. It's kind of glued in there, so this is disconnected. That's disconnected. Hard drive, you're going to disconnect like that. All right. This is the CD-ROM cable. It's also glued to the casing, uh, to the motherboard. Not the casing. All right, so we're gonna remove that. We're gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi card. And we're gonna disconnect the keyboard from the motherboard. We're gonna disconnect the LED cable right here for the. It's also glued in, so careful. Let me pull this guy out like that. All right, and that seems to be all for this connection. I probably need to guide this guy like that. And like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, good job. Screw right here. The uh, hinges are going to be like that. Let's connect that. Like that. Unscrew those two screws. And probably one screw right here someplace under the white pad right there. All right. And voila. Okay, so the reason we show you those videos, if you want, you could send us just the motherboard. 
and we're gonna fix it up for you all right and here we got the we got the battery disconnection right here all right so that's the jack Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably it's either broke right there in the back there, or or somebody was already screwing around with it because this bracket is not in the right place. You see, it's not supposed to be like that. So maybe somebody shorted the motherboard while playing with the playing with this guy. Maybe, maybe not. Let's take this guy in place. So it wouldn't be coming off. Let's tape it here as well. All right. Um, when it comes to this guy, to the power connector charging port, what we want to do is we want to insulate this LED cable, uh, the socket for the LED cable, and then we're gonna insulate the area around the jack. Here's I'm gonna I'm, uh, I'm gonna use the 3M tape right here. This is thermal tape that's not gonna let the nearby components to fly off the motherboard. Even though this guy probably gonna fly off the motherboard, it's too close. All right, let's see. We're gonna use something like that to insulate it a bit more. Double taping is a really good thing. All right, so the rest, there is nothing, no components here, so we don't have to worry much about it. And let's put some tape to keep the, to keep the 3M tape in place well all right so now that it's all insulated um yeah looks good to me i want to insulate the this plastic network connection all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add some leaded base solder here 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 all right and leaded base solder goes here 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 and then I'm gonna use the hot air just to pop this guy right out. Let me show you how to do it. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna warm up the hot air station. Not the hot air, the soldering iron. And we're gonna get the flux out of the container storage. All right. Uh, we're gonna just add oh, yeah, visual thinking this thing is already gone all right um all right oh the flux yeah got the flux from another workbench Already, let's uh, fire up the hot air station. You see, without flux, it doesn't want to do anything here. Yeah. Basically, flux is the key to getting anything desoldered, or soldered for that matter. All right, let's pop this guy out.
Let's increase the hot air temperature. Bring the hot air a bit closer. I don't want to overheat anything, so that's the reason why I'm just taking it slowly. All right. Got that out. We're going to reduce the hot air temperature. What we're going to do next is we're going to suck all of the solder out. Okay, looks good to me. Shut down the hot air station. And I need to go find another connector like this. Alrighty, so here is the old connector, right here, here is the new connector. So we're gonna disregard the old connector. And I think it's gonna go like that, right? Or it's the other way around. Oh, no, I think it's like that. Alright, so let's pu put some support underneath. Like that, like that, like that. Like that. All right, beautiful. All 
Okay. Good job. All right, looks good to me. All righty, so here we got the board uh, ready for me to be put back together. You know what? I think that here, let me first put it back together. I want to test the connector to make sure it does work. The client didn't send the power supply. Usually I'm able to fix the power supply if the power supply is faulty, but in, in this case the client decided not to send the power supply because they don't want the power supply to be fixed if it's faulty. And they're probably gonna call me or text me or email me saying, you know what, I got the laptop back and it still doesn't work because you didn't replace the jack. <laughs> I get that all the time. So that's the reason we have to sometimes make those videos because uh, I can point, point out to the client saying, listen, we did get, I know my clients better than, <laughs> I know what's gonna happen way before it's gonna happen. So here like that, like that, and like that. Good job, all right. Oh, it's good to me. Let's position this guy. And first we're gonna shout in there. Plus this guy right in. Then we're gonna get it under the bed right there. We're gonna close this. And then we're gonna close down okay. here. Um, that guy there. Okay, good job. Now, I guess we're gonna guide this guy right here like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay. Okay, good job. Okay, let's get to me, close that. And let's connect the CD-ROM right here. Cable for the CD-ROM. It's sticking to the glue on the bottom, so you kind of have to guide it through. Close it down like that. Like this guy in right here, close it down, like this guy here, close this guy down, and plug in the battery right there. Okay, to me it looks like everything is connected the way it should be. There's the long black screw goes right here. Guys, if the video was useful, I would appreciate a like. You can subscribe, I will let you know which laptops I would buy myself, spend my money on, and which laptops I would never spend my money on 
to begin with. All right, so let's let's guide this guy out like that, like that, like that, and like that. Good job. Now we get three screws, and I want to do them by hand because it's a motherboard screws. I don't want to over torque anything. Let's see. That looks good to me. Now you go. All right, good. I just want them to be there. I don't want them to be super tight on anything because that's gonna mess up the motherboard in a way it can get crooked. Crook the motherboard, that is. All right, so close that. And all we have to do is we need to connect the battery. That. All right, connecting the battery. I think it's going to be here, here. And two more screws, one right here. And one right there. All right, good job. All right, let's close that down. Close this down. Good. Now we're going to plug this guy in right there good job and let's screw this all righty Okay. We put the CD ROM back into the laptop. Again, put the motherboard back into the laptop. Screw all the screws in. Good job. All right, let me go find a compatible power supply, just so that if the client complains, what's that? I guess that was here. Again, the damage right here on the side, just in case the client complains. And damage right there. All right, give me one sec. All right, let's see if this is not, this is from HP, um, but the sizing should be correct for the plug, kind of correct. Let's see if it's gonna work. All right, plug it in. Do we have the electrical going through? And we don't have the light. All right, so. Strange. See if we can power it up. Nope, we can't power anything up. Maybe there's not enough voltage. It doesn't say what's the proper voltage. Anyways, it probably wasn't even a jack issue. The client didn't specify that. Yeah, there is no light anywhere. Anyways, just wanted to show you that we do do work on the uh, Lenovo 330. It just sometimes the clients send them in. And it's not even a jack issue. I hope that we can just fix anything. You know, we're probably gonna charge a no fix fee. It seems like everyone charges an attempt fee. Maybe somebody spilled something. I mean, if the client would really say what's, what, what happened, I would probably take a closer look the first time around. But since the clients are 
just want me to go in and see what I can do. Yeah, probably this cover right here was moved right there and it's probably shorted the motherboard. That's my take. Oh, you know what? Hold on one second here. I forgot to connect battery. So hold on. Maybe everything is not so bad. Hold on. I usually connect the battery last. Here I don't want to. I don't want to break the the cable. All right, let's see. Maybe it doesn't want to function without the battery. Let's see. Let's. Yeah, like that. Like the battery back in. Okay. All right. Don't drop the screws on the keyboard or on the motherboard. And I want to take a look closely to see maybe I can see some sort of other damage. But even without the battery, it should in theory power up. All right, so here. Do we have any lights anywhere? No, no lights anywhere. Maybe my power supply isn't 100% compatible. Let's take a look if we get any voltage at the back of the connector. Maybe it needs more volt, uh, more amperage. No, we get 20 volts. All right, we get 20 volts here. We get nothing at the battery. Yeah, so again, um, the client probably knew that something else is going on. They just shoved it up to us to handle. So yeah, I mean, let, let's take a look. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Yep. Uh, there's nothing coming out anywhere here. Nothing at all. Let's let's take it one more time apart again. I wouldn't have to do all that if, if the client would specify that it wasn't a jack issue. All right. All righty. Again, my guess, this cover wasn't secured enough. It got lifted up. And it's uh, what causes the issue in the first place. It, it shorted something on the motherboard. Uh, this thing not, not gonna work. I'm pretty sure about it. So I'm kind of just trying to get everything disconnected again. That's a pain to, I mean, probably wouldn't even have to replace the jack in the first place. I mean, the specialty of this company is, is the jack replacements. Uh, but as you can see, now I have to waste my time. I could have fixed two more laptops in the time I'm fixing this one because, yeah. Pretty soon I'm gonna just charge a no fix fee because people just wasting everyone's time. And you know what? They didn't even include the prepaid shipping label. They expect me to pay for the return shipping. Okay, so what we have here? Let's take a look what we got here. I mean, I can charge the client anything instead. And those guys from India, they're like blowing my mind. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we got 20 volts here. We got 20 volts here. Goes here. Goes there. Goes right there. And nothing comes out here. All right, so nothing comes out here. There should be something coming out this way. But nothing comes out. All right, that capacitor is good. That capacitor is good. 
this is bad. Let's take a look at those capacitors are shorting. This guy is good, this guy is good. So it might be just a CPU and bad. No, this guy is not good right here. This is shorting, yeah, it's, it looks like CPU went dead on the startup. These guys, those are good. Good. Oh, bad. Another bad one. Let's see what we have here. Good. All right. So we got several places where I can see capacitors being shorted. That means there's a short on the motherboard. And the short on the motherboard is usually caused by this guy. So here. Um, probably this capacitor blew because it was touching this guy and that guy. Or somehow like that. So that's the guy that blew. Um, again, I don't mind fixing all that. I just already spent enough. Wasted your time, my time on this. Yeah, no, this guy is fine. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, he, 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 he seems all right. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, put some voltage onto the board. See on the thermal camera where the short is at. And uh, see what I can do. All right, so what we are doing is we bring in a... An external power supply like that. We can inject five volts into this thing. Let's take the glasses on. Uh, where is the thermal camera? This is the thermal camera recommended by, by one of my colleagues on the west coast. And I bought it, but this is total garbage, so don't buy that. I can't recommend that to anybody. Okay, so here. Uh, I can connect it via USB port so that you can see everything yourself. But uh, there is no reason because I'm pretty sure that it's going to show us on the screen right away what the problem is. If it's going to show us. So we're going to set 5 volts, 2 amps and uh, let's see, anything heated up already? You get reflections, uh, well nothing really. I don't see anything firing up yet. So let's fire up. Uh, and you know what? It doesn't draw anything. Um, what's going on? Nope, it doesn't draw anything. Nothing. It doesn't draw anything, so... Um, hmm, strange. What's going on? Here, let's... Uh, let's remove this guy. Let's remove this guy. Maybe... Maybe my clip wasn't sitting well. Let's... Put this clip here. Let's put this clip right there. Let's power up. Nope, it still doesn't draw anything. You see zero amperage is being drawn. All right, so what if we're gonna put... Uh, what if we're gonna put... Well, let's not experiment. Hold on. Here, let's do that. Let's connect the power supply. power supply let's bring over the the oh there's still nothing it doesn't show us anything nope it doesn't show us absolutely nothing strange really strange let's see under the Let's see where the current ends. I was under the impression that... Alright, so we get 20 volts here. And we get nothing on the other side. Maybe a cap right there that's faulty. And we get nothing here. So this guy is blocking the current to, from going through. But it's almost always a capacitor issue. It's usually, this guy never usually fails. Let's take a look at this capacitor right here. 
And you know what the capacitor shows as z well does it show as zero? It doesn't show as zero. Come on. Well, hard to say. I was hoping that this capacitor right there, because this guy doesn't show me zero. This one almost looks like it shows a zero. Let's try another. Let's see. Do we get any voltage? Hold on. Uh, are we gonna get a beep or something? Or are we not gonna get any beeps? Okay. Let's see. You know what? It doesn't beep anything to us. To me. This cap. What time is it? I'm already past my time. Because, I mean, we have set time for each uh, laptop. If we can't fix it, we just move on because we could, we could, again, we can fix a couple of other ones instead of this one. But since I'm recording the video, let me, let me remove this guy altogether. Um, let's take a look. What, what, what are the measurements on the other side? Hold on. Let's see. Well, the measurements are good, so there's no short on this side. But this cap doesn't look like the one I would like to trust my life with. So it might not even be this guy, it might be... Alright, anyways, let's, let's, let's try and take off this guy. Alright. Now, in order for it to be taken off properly, I need to insulate the area around it as well, because those guys are gonna fly off the motherboard. This all takes time, as, as you probably know. There are too many components here nearby. I'm afraid that things might not be that great. All right, let me utilize another hot air station that I got, not the one I'm using currently, because this is going to be a really tedious work to get this guy out. Alrighty, so here. All right, so we got the component removed. Let's see if we're going to be able to. Let's see if we can. OK, so none of the nearby components flew off the motherboard. That's a good thing. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to just bypass it for right now. 
with the wire. All right, so let's add some solder right here, right here, and right here, okay. All right, and let's cut off the excess wires. Let's clean the area. All right. So I'm currently bypassing that component, the one that wasn't conducting the electricity through, and we're going to see if it's going to be shorting on the next component gonna be shorting on the next component again it's probably something to do with the capacitors which don't don't come up anywhere as being faulty ones all right let's see good job good job okay let's take a look let's let's plug this guy in first let's put the glasses on because something else might not work out here Alrighty, let's put this guy up right like that, plug it in, and the connector is not oh, it's like not connected, no it's connected, and we still don't get any lights anywhere I assume, right? No, we don't. Alright, so we don't get any lights, and let's see if we're gonna get any yeah, we get the voltage going through now. All right, so that's a positive. That's a okay. All right. Let's see if we're gonna get any voltage here. Yeah, we get voltage all the way on the other side of the board. So let's unplug this guy. Now, what I want to do is I probably want to put another one of those. Um, Diets, I just have to go and match one. And I'm not sure if I should be doing it right now. No, you know what? I will pick up on this repair in the next. Uh, tomorrow. So let me pause the video and tomorrow I will be back to this and hopefully going to be able to finish it up. But yeah, that component is the one that shorted out for one or the other reason. Not sure why. Um, and hopefully if I'm going to locate the similar component, it's going to work. All right. uh, that was the by bypass that seems to be working fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Desolder that bypass. On, what's going on why is it not why is it not warming up very well this is my best iron <laughs> strange maybe the tip is not perfectly screwed in here
Come on. Come on. Okay, so now that I removed the bypass, we're going to clean the area a bit. Alrighty. All right, seems like, seems like cleaned enough. All right, looks good, looks good. Okay, let's clean it up with the alcohol. All right. All right, still got some cleaning up to do just now. Had to change the brightness because uh, had to see that everything has come off already. All right, looks good. Now let's put some Let's put some flux right there, right there. And let's put the new component in place. Tweezers are too big because the nearby components are nearby. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything was so beautiful. It was sitting so beautiful. Come on. I don't think I got enough thermal mass now. Moved just a tiny bit. Let's do. Let's redo it.
All right, like that. I'm just like that. Beautiful? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's sitting the, the, the right way, but it's okay, I guess. All right. Okay, let's do the other side. Well, this is not an exactly the same part as was there before, but it does exactly the same thing, should be. Hopefully the layout is the same. I really hope so. And this is not beautiful, but it's okay. They all the same. Uh, uh, they all the same there. They, they all should be positive in there. Now that's the one that I putting in, and this is the one I took off. This is the one I took off. GV. Uh, GV8. H2N 6414A and this is GV GA8 hard to say now but let, let's run some alcohol in it still hard to say let's increase the brightness all right somewhere right here can you see what's the model that I put in GA B. Well, let's see if it's gonna work. Same company, just different design slightly. All right, so let's remove this guy. All right, so what I wanna see, what I wanna see is for everything to dry up. Let's try one more time. Looks good, yeah. I mean, the pad right there isn't soldered because it was moved. I think it's all well. Anyways, it's all positive, so it's nothing to worry about. Again, it's not an exact uh, replacement either size, but it does exactly the same. Uh, it, it the capacity is up to thirty volts, I believe, on this one, and uh, I think up to like six, seven amps. And uh, the, the adapter that I use is two, 2.5 amps. And I'm not sure what the original power supply for this laptop is. So let me dry it up uh, for a few minutes. And then I'm going to test it and see if the voltage going through this guy or it's not going through. Maybe it's not the right, not the right connection.
All right, the bad news is that it didn't work out. Uh, that probably maybe I, while I was flipping it around, maybe I flipped it the wrong way. All right, so I could try another one of those. Yeah, maybe I connected it. Uh, maybe it should be flipped the other way. Ay -ay -ay. I, I was testing, I was testing it, and then I put it the way I sh it should be going. And maybe it, while I was installing it, it's uh, got sidetracked. All right, let's take this guy out of here. I think since it's a relatively fresh solder, it should be coming out just fine. Oh, the uh, hot air is well. Anyways, let's let's use the other hot air. All right. Alrighty, so I played around and I found a another one, which we're gonna try right now. Another uh, diet again for that new diet. Why is it always rocking? I need to do something about this rock and motion thingy like that all right so what we're gonna do again is uh, put some flags to clean up the area flags here let's clean up the area All right, so it's it's as clean as a whistle. And what we got here is a guy like that, uh, which we're gonna use those tweezers right here to install this guy in place. Let's get a proper grip on it. Now let's find a uh -oh. uh, one of the soldering irons I shut down the microscopic one. All right, let's reduce the brightness and let's see if we can position this guy like that. All right, like. I need to make sure I can see. Uh oh. Nope. I mean, how am I gonna solder that if probably something like that? Because I need those 
path right there to be exposed for soldering purposes. Okay, something like that, I assume. All right, let's see. Do you think it's gonna be kicking up, picking up solder or not? I doubt so. Nope, it's not even pick, picking up anything yet there. Let's see if we can maybe solder the other side right here. I know it's better to do it with the hot air, but I know that everything around it is going to blow up, blow all over the place. Let's see. This is all not working out for me. Shit. Let's see if we can use the hot air to do something there. I want to reduce the temperature a little bit. All right, let's see if it's going to work. Nope, nothing did work. All right, let's do, let's do the other way. Guys, any tips would be appreciated because this is just a pain to work on. All right. All right. Let's try and position this guy on top of this whole thing.
probably not enough uh, temperature. All right. All right. All right, I think we spilled a lot of solder to the side right there. Oh no, it's, it looks good. Okay, let's see, this is, that was a bit too much air. But nothing got blown off, that's a good thing. let's clean up let's clean up this blob all right looks good All right, so are we ready to test it with this chip? This chip is uh, GV8H2N. Wait up. And this one was... Wait, did I just put the old connector back in there? <laughs> no way. No way I just did that. Hold on one second. Ay, ay, ay. That's called lead. Yeah, probably just did put the old connector in, in the place. Well, probably. That's probably the old connector. The new connector is right here. Right? Yeah. How could they? Well, let's see if the, it's gonna work if they <laughs> if they all come. Let's polish it up and see if it's gonna work if the old connector while it's still there. Just give me one second. All right, does it still work with the old connector already? No, it doesn't work. Still, we get the voltage here. We're not getting any voltage on the other side. All right, let's try another connector. right here all right let's power up the hot air one more time i hope this time it's going to be different again i wasted so much time on this laptop i would probably replace three four connectors already All right, let's take this guy out. Let's see if we can just put the new one in there.
Uh oh. The nearby components started to fly off the motherboard. Okay. Now let's see if we can correct. All right. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Nothing else got blown off. All right. I think that that one is fine. Now let's. So this is RGB eleven or C zero six B, and I hope. Let's clean this guy up. And I hope this is going to be just fine. Again, this capacitor could be faulty and that's the reason why it causes constant short. Or maybe even this guy could be shorting right there. Hard to say. Yeah, just no with that one not shorting because we were we were able to bypass this component to begin with and everything was working fine. Alright. Oh look at that, what's that? Is that remains of the old piece? I didn't notice it before. Or let's clean it up a bit more. Maybe the component itself was bad. Maybe. Okay, let's use some brushing skills. Add a little bit more light. Alright. All components are here. All right, let's dry it up a little bit more and then test it. All righty, so the moment of truth. We plug it in and we measure the voltage and we want to see if we get, and I want to get some glasses on. And we want to see if we get a short or not. Well, No, I mean, it doesn't want to go through this area right here. So my guess, it's either the component down here that causes a short. All right, we get 20 volts here. We're not getting anything on the other side. Maybe my diets are not from this opera, but no, we get nothing here. And I don't see anything else that... No. All right, so let me take it off again and just put the wire again there and see if it's going to just work with the wire. Because I'm just trying to be a professional here, but... Um, um, I honestly am not sure why this thing is like that. It goes that way and it goes the, the up, up way. You know what, I forgot to switch the camera. What I did take off was the... Uh, the guy right there this guy let's see if it's gonna help us improve the situation or not all 
Well, now we're getting some voltage through, but it's not uh, the same amount of voltage that needed for this thing to function. It's like nothing. Uh, maybe my uh, component right here isn't because my component is not from this opera. Maybe it's killing the voltage so much that we only get like three volts or something through it. Oh no, you see it's dropping, 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 dropping. And then. Mm, yeah. Anyways, let me get, get rid of that component altogether and just put the wire through. Alright, so when I put the wire through it, it was working. So I assume if we're gonna put the wire through again, it's gonna work again. Alright. Alrighty. Okay, let's cut this guy off. All right, let's position it slightly that way. All right. All right, so let's try one more time with the wire in. And let's see what's going to happen. If we get 20 volts going through all the way. All right, and that's the client that just called, decided to text. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty... I mean, I spent the... Uh, couple hours at least here I mean figuring this thing out and I was pressing the the uh, the pause button every now and then but um, overall I'm pretty much done with this system if it's not gonna work it's not gonna work I mean in in this amount of time I could fix maybe three or four power jack issues instead of just here again I don't I mean a guy at McDonald's makes a lot more money than me working here. All right. All right. Okay. I'm just putting everything back together. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I did put a new diet in there. The new diet didn't want to work. So I don't know why. Maybe it functions two, two new diets, basically. All right, so here we go like that. It, it, because probably it wasn't a diet to begin with, it was something else that was shorting nearby. And those diets, they hardly ever break down. They just, it's sort of like a gate. They either give the voltage through or they don't give the voltage through. Simple as that. Okay, like that. And the guy who called decides to send me 20 text messages. Okay. So guys, if you send me a text message, send it just one, not like 20, just make sure you state your life in just one sentence. Alrighty. Yeah. Let's plug this guy in. 
let's remove the old fake from the yeah All right, if only I would know which way is which to Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Okay. Let's connect the battery and hopefully nothing gonna catch fire here. All right. All right, we're gonna screw one screw right here. We're gonna screw one screw right here. Screw right there. And one screw right there. And one screw right here. Okay, let's close this guy down. Uh, everything's connected, seems like. Okay. Okay, remember now the voltage coming through, but it, it's just being forced through. Maybe there is a shortage someplace down the road, which there shouldn't be because my uh, my power thingy showed that there is no drawage on amperage anywhere, so it should be. If only I would know how many. Uh, how many amps this setup needs? I will probably make my life even easier. Right here. Okay. Alrighty, so the moment of truth. Did I just waste? By the way, there is no no fix, no charge policy basically here. Did I just waste my time on this uh, laptop? Well, hard to say. The light here is blinking for some reason. We got the light right there. It doesn't mean that anything's... Oh, wow. We got a Lenovo picture right there. Lenovo picture. Oh. Well, you see, sometimes replacing the components doesn't really work. You just need to jump it with the wire. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like. Subscribe. I will let you, which, I will let you know which laptops I would spend my money on. Which laptops I wouldn't spend my money on. Just want to make sure that everything's here. Seems to be... All right, uh, so yeah, the client who is watching this. Uh... Oh, so this is not the right uh, power supply. Yeah, that's the reason why it's shut down, probably. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, the, the power supply isn't exactly correct for this uh, laptop. So if I would have the original power supply, I would probably, and I wouldn't touch it, everything would be fine. So right there again, Lenovo screen. And by the way, I don't know what's the right amperage. This is really low amp uh, power supply. So maybe it has doesn't have enough uh, juice to charge the battery and power up the laptop at the same time. So I want to log in. I mean, I don't have the password, but I want to sign in and see maybe the sound works, touchpad works. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Thank you.